Hello everyone, welcome to Bright Star Chess Academy. Today I am going to show you two very interesting game of Abhishek. During this tournament, his rating was 1531 and he defeated Gelani Dheria whose rating was uh, 1806 and he sacrificed uh, two to three pieces to win the game. And uh, not only this game, uh, even there was one more game with uh, Hermal Thanki whose rating was 2100. So as well as I just want to share you a short story. Uh, is tournament ke dauran uh, meri financial condition bahut kharab thi. Main profile sir ke paas gaya aur maine sir se pucha sir kya ye main tournament khel sakta hu? Uh, to sir ne bola ha kyun nahi khel sakte? To maine bola sir mere paas entry fees nahi hai bharne ke liye. Kya main ye tournament khelu aur uski entry fees mein baad mein do? Then sir told me, yeah Abhishek, go ahead, no problem, you can pay me when you'll have the money. Don't worry about it, go and play your best. So from that day, uh, sir was my inspiration. Thank you sir. So moving ahead with the game, e4, c5, knight c3, e6, d3, a6, a4. Knight c6, g3, d5, bishop g2, knight f6, knight g2, bishop e7, castle, castle, e captures d5, e captures d5, knight f4. So basically knight f4 is the idea to pressurize on d5 square. So, my opponent, uh, he realized that his uh, d5 is little weak. If he push the d5, then I'll have knight c d5. So, that's why he played bishop g4 to stop knight d5. So, here if I play f3, then it's a problem. Then that's why I played queen on d2. So, he played knight b4 to stop knight into d5 once again so after this uh, I realize okay so how I can attack more so here I played s3 he played uh, on the square that was bishop d7 then I move ahead with knight d1 so one more question I just want to ask why white uh, didn't capture knight into d5 so pause the video and go ahead okay if knight captures d5 then he has knight captures d5 knight captures d5 knight captures d5 bishop captures d5 then bishop capture s3 and here I was thinking uh, why to take risk so I move ahead uh, with the move a uh, simple uh, knight d1 to maneuver my knight so here he played rook e8 I played c3 simple kicking the knight back he played knight c6 and I maneuver my knight on e3 so again now my knight and the bishop is attacking on d5 so here the option he has he can play d4 or bishop e6 so i capture knight into e6 he captures f cross uh, e6 why because i thought uh, e6 can be weakness so i played f4 he played e5 f captures e5 knight captures e5 then i played g4 he played h6 i played knight f5 so that my knight can be placed on the good square so he played knight f7 and here I played knight uh, sorry queen f2 and uh, during this uh, I feel I just want to give space to my bishop so that's why I move my queen so here my opponent played rook f8 and uh, rook f8 was the idea 
so that if i am doing anything sacrifice towards the king side then his rook will be indirectly attacking my pieces so that's why i played bishop f4 queen d7 rook a e1 bishop d8 queen d2 rook c8 rook e2 rook e8 and here uh, i decide not to exchange the rook because uh, i was planning that i have double bishop advantage so i should keep my both of the rook to attack towards king side because already my all pieces are faced towards the king side so i played rook f2 so my idea so i can go ahead with the sacrifice so he played queen into a4 and it was a risky move for him and now i was ready to attack so that's why uh, i was calculating some sacrifice and uh, after the calculation i played bishop into h6 so he didn't accept it uh, why because uh, if he captures uh, g into h6 then i have knight into then knight into then queen into h6 so idea my both the rook are very strong placed uh, and even i have many moves rook f5 rook g g4 uh, sorry g5 so that's why it was little strong and uh, that's the reason why my opponent didn't accepted that sacrifice so he played g5 uh, sorry g6 so now he's attacking my knight uh, still again i gave my knight and i was playing uh, bishop on g4 simply so bishop g4 was the idea if knight into g4 then queen into g4 so why i am sacrificing my knight on f5 that is a question if my opponent is taking uh, g cross f5 then i have rook cross f5 and that will make a little sense for me so that i can sacrifice once again uh, wherever i want like i can take uh, bishop into f6 bishop into f6 rook into f6 and then rook into d7 uh, rook into f7 is coming queen g5 will come so lots of move was there so that's why opponent thought uh, why to take risk so the reason he played directly queen c6 so going ahead bishop into f6 he played bishop into f6 i played knight h6 he played knight into h6 i played rook into f6 so this was my idea so that if uh, rook is coming on uh, e6 then i'll have queen into uh, h6 idea so once again i'm sacrificing my rook why so this question is for you you just have to pause the video and uh, you have to leave the comment why i was sacrificing this and before watching the full video you have to leave the comment whether you got the answer or no so here uh, now i am moving ahead so what happened in the game uh, my opponent took the rook on f6 and uh, i also took the rook so with rook into f6 opponent take rook queen into f6 and here was the tactics what i played that was bishop into d5 check and you can see the king is uh, covered Uh, by the bishop and the queen so queen has only square to move on f7 that is a blunder you can say because queen into g6 he missed the move and before only he resigned the game so this game was with uh, gelani the area so now um, i am moving on the next game with uh, himal tanki so here i was playing as a black pieces and uh, himal tanki was white so before moving ahead the game i just want to tell you that hemal thaki was a very strong player during that time he also drew with 2600 uh, and i was like uh, i got a great opportunity to play with him so i started the game with uh, e4 c5 knight f3 and c6 bishop b4 and knight d4 so this was my preparation when i was playing the tournament 
uh, I go through uh, with Hemel's game and uh, I thought I should go like out of the line out of the theories so that's why I played knight d4 uh, in this situation and uh, here uh, simply my opponent took uh, knight cross uh, d4 then uh, I took with c cross d4 then he castled I played a6 then bishop a4 e6 c3 b5 bishop b3 bishop c5 d3 knight d7 queen h5 so queen h5 is the idea to attacking my c5 uh, bishop so here i simply uh, supported my bishop with queen c7 a4 bishop b7 a captures b5 i castled and uh, here I was sacrificing a pawn why because now I feel that if b captures a6 then I have bishop into a6 so that is uh, okay for me because I thought if uh, c4 will come after that then uh, my d4 pawn will be good and if he's not playing c4 then bishop into d3 is very strong so here uh, my opponent uh, thought uh, that why to keep the d4 pawn so he went uh, with capturing the d4 uh, then he played c into d4 i played bishop into d4 knight d2 g6 queen h4 i did to attack the knight so d5 uh, he played uh, knight f3 then i played bishop g7 bishop h6 d captures e4 so here i thought if bishop into g7 then i have knight f5 tempo then i'll take with the king or knight whatever i feel the better uh, even i have a good square knight f5 so that's why i was waiting that uh, if bishop takes then good advantage so moving ahead uh, i captured the pawn he played rook c1 i played knight c6 rook c5 queen d6 bishop into g7 king into g7 and rook c3 so yeah i pushed the pawn that is uh, b4 before is the idea to give the tempo on the knight uh, rook sorry so rook d3 and knight e5 so once again sharing you uh, why knight e5 because i just uh, thought to exchange the knight and after exchanging the knight my queen will be on the e5 and i'll be controlling the long diagonal till b2 and uh, even uh, i thought like if after knight exchange my queen will come on e5 and it was happened the game so queen e7 i played bishop a6 then uh, rook f uh, e1 i played rook b8 queen a7 rook a8 again queen e7 rook b8 and here rook f3 i played rook b7 so queen h4 rook c8 rook h3 h5 again rook d3 then here i played rook c7 and uh, g3 rook c1 queen e7 again i played here simple queen into b2 marvin played bishop into e6 he thought that uh, the king was pinned so that's why he can sacrifice but here he missed a move that was rook c7 and uh, i just want to show you that uh, again one more move he missed that queen d6 but after queen d6 one more move was coming that was rook c uh, rook c1 to c6 and uh, this was a blunder uh, what my opponent played bishop into e6 so he played rook b3 i captured rook into d6 rook into b2 then i captured f into e6 rook into b4 
I played a uh, simple rook c6 to exchange the rook so he played king g2 rook c1 and once again one more blunder that was rook d3 he must have move that was bishop f1 check and now if king f3 rook f7 checkmate so once again i want to thank my inspirations praful zaviri sir uh, and uh, i want to tell you friends uh, that after the tournament finished i won 25000 rupees and on the same day i paid my entry fees so thank you very much for watching the video please like share and subscribe